Hey guys, this is Kevin here with Hannah Instruments, and today we're going to be talking about salinity in your aquarium. So measuring salinity is measuring generally how many dissolved salts are in the water, and it's obviously uh, one of the most important parameters to measure because it's often one of the first things we test for in a reef aquarium or saltwater aquarium. This is because when you're filling up your aquarium, you usually have to mix uh, artificial seawater with salts and usually RODI water, reverse osmosis deionized water, in order to kind of create this artificial reef habitat. So in order to know how much salt we need to add, we need to measure the, the salinity values. Uh, there's a couple ways to do that, um, but uh, we like to use our digital refractometer and an instruments our HI9682 digital seawater refractometer. Um, so salinity plays an important role in just about every aspect of the aquarium health, between all your fish and coral and things like that. Um, so, you know, having too much salinity is definitely not a good thing, but having too little salinity is also not a good thing. So um, for the most time, we generally want to shoot for about 1.025 specific gravity or 1.026 specific gravity, depending on what kind of corals you keep or uh, what kind of inhabitants you have. Um, but for the most part, it's also important to constantly monitor salinity because as your aquarium evaporates or as water evaporates from your aquarium, you're going to see a, an increase in salinity. That's because uh, as water evaporates, the dissolved salts are usually going to stay there while it's going to become less dilute. So we usually have to add fresh water back in either by an auto top off system or just manually adding uh, top off water via RODI water or tap water, whatever you decide to use. Preferably, it's usually best to use a pure water source like RODI water just to remove any potential contaminants from the water. But there's a lot of different ways to measure salinity. You can have hydrometers, swing arm hydrometers, optical refractometers, or we like to use our digital seawater refractometer. This is our HI96822 digital seawater refractometer. It's designed just for artificial or natural seawater. Um, and these are really, really a great little device to use, um, partially because it has something called automatic temperature compensation. Now, when you are measuring salinity via refractive index, and this, this is how this is using, it's using a light, uh, light source and bending that light source and based on the amount of dissolved uh, particles in the water, it's gonna give you a, a value of specific gravity, practical salinity units, or parts per thousand. Um, but when you're doing a, a refractive index, a measurement for salinity, one of the most important things to have in, in cor correlation with that is something called automatic temperature compensation or ATC. And this is because uh, as water heats up or cools down, the, the ions in the water will move faster or slower, thus can give you a different refractive index or a different value. Um, this is really important to note because a lot of the optical refractometers we use in the aquarium hobby, uh, they have a very narrow temperature compensation range, usually about 78, 80 degrees. Generally what you would find in a saltwater aquarium, they kind of match that, but they really can't vary too much. Now, the nice thing about our digital seawater refractometer is it can range anywhere from about 35 to 170 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So you really don't have to worry too much about your water having, uh, you know, whether your water's hot or cold or things like that for a measurement like let's say you you know you have a water sample that's been sitting in your car or, or if you're mixing a batch of salt water and, you're, and you haven't had a time for heater to set up yet um, it's going to be a good to uh, to make sure you have a refractometer that's going to be compensating the temperature here so if you look on the screen you know we could see there's going to be a temperature unit down there and it's also going to be a um, you know just the regular value right there as well where the number is going to be displayed um, and it's a really great device because uh, you can also just calibrate this just with RODI water. There's no special solutions you need to calibrate it. Just strictly use DI or RODI or distilled water to calibrate it. And it's, uh, it's nice too because it, it measures the sample temperature on the plate. So if you actually see, if I put my hand on that plate there, you actually see the sample temperature start to rise a bit because it's, re it's reading the warmth through my hand. So it, it will actually measure the sample temperature on that plate and then compensate for any differences brought about by the, uh, the temperature and the salinity value. So if we were gonna run a test here, it's super easy. So I have my seawater sample right here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some deionized water right to the plate here. And you just wanna fill up that entire black well, make sure there's no air bubbles in there. So once we get that filled up, you know, we're gonna make sure there's no bear bubbles. We're gonna cover this uh, plate with our hand just to make sure there's no external light sources impeding the uh, optical sensors. And we're just gonna hit this zero button. So it's gonna flash, then we're gonna zero out to uh, our first reading, and now the meter is calibrated. Then we're gonna gently take a Kim wipe or paper towel or some soft tissue, and we're just gonna let this water absorb there. You wanna be careful you don't scratch the, uh, the glass there or anything like that, just to prevent any sort of damage to the, to the reader or to the optical sensor. And once this is all wiped up and dry, we're gonna take some of our salt water here. 
We're going to add the salt water straight to that plate. And again, fill it up. Make sure there's no air bubbles. We're going to cover that sample well again. Hit read. And you notice we get a salinity value of 1.026, which is a perfect salinity for our aquarium. So another good thing about this meter is it comes with a two-year warranty direct from Hanna Instruments. So if there's any problems with the meter within two years of the date of purchase, we'll happily replace or repair it for you. Thank you so much for watching our video today. We really appreciate you taking the time to learn about salinity in your aquarium. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more updates in the future.